Well, it was certainly better than last year's finale. Still just as corny, though. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural. Season 13, episode 23, season finale. And this was certainly better than last year's season finale. That is for sure. However, I have one question. Who was Maggie? The entire beginning of the episode has something to do with this girl being murdered. And they're all acting like this person has been really important. I'm guessing she was from Apocalypse World. I don't remember if that was the group that they met going into the tunnels or if Jack's just been hanging with her, but honestly, when she was dead on the ground, I was like, who is this? But aside from that, the episode has that really weird Monster of the Week start, which really reminded me of season 10 season uh, finale. So I thought the beginning was kind of weird, but then once Lucifer arrives, then we get things going and I'll admit the dynamic between Lucifer and Jack from their, from his supposed facade to then their betrayal to their con conflict is actually all pretty good. I did enjoy Mark Pellerino finally getting to really delve into the evil of his character again, but this is an Andrew Dabb written episode and aside from that terribly thrown in plot with Maggie, he once again does a bit of retconning because he's a lazy fucking hack and that is with Dean taking on Michael. Does anyone remember that pretty big side element of season 5 with the reason why Dean refused to be Michael's sword? You know, one of the reasons being that he wanted to solve it himself, but also the fact that supposedly the battle between Lucifer and Michael would destroy half the world, if not all of it. And what happens when we have a super fucking Lucifer against Michael? The only victim, the only destruction witnessed is a pew table. That's it. That's what the big fight was. Instead, it's just Michael and Lucifer, Dean and Lucifer, doing terrible wire work. We were told this would destroy half the world. They couldn't even destroy more than one piece of furniture. That's how big this battle was. That battle was corny and just dumb considering how much we had been told throughout season five the calamity the destruction and then also dean's resilience to doing it how much he went through to avoid saying yes and this just happens lucifer has sam he's like oh shit better say yes god damn it andrew dad you literally have no fucking creativity at all do you God damn hack fuck. Aside from the terrible written shit by Dab, the guys do a really good job with the elements they have. Admittedly, this is a much more well-constructed season finale. There isn't a bunch of random deaths for shock value like there was before. And there is actually a constructed sediment to how this works. Admittedly, they probably could have spent a little bit more time building this up because the conversations between Lucifer and Jack and the whole moral dynamic moves a bit quickly. But in considering just like how Jack is like at one point he's like, eh, eh, why keep hurting myself? Admittedly, that did not look the best. I think they should have done different actions for that. But otherwise, I feel the episode is well is better constructed than previous seasons. It has better narrative flow, even if it is fucking hack writing flow but it is really corny it is extremely cheesy especially the ending like it ends on a freeze frame a freeze frame but i can't deny that this wasn't a bad episode in terms of previous season finales if anything it actually is probably the better season finale over the last two seasons including season 12 and even season 11 because season 11 was kind of like eh. and this one does lead into an interesting idea of dean being michael but i can guarantee you they're going to solve that shit in the first five episodes fucking guarantee it you know why i think that well there was that whole dean being a demon thing and that was solved in three episodes so andrew dab probably won't be able to handle it you couldn't write anything that creative i am going to give the season finale of supernatural season 13 a three out of seven. It corny as hell, but it was entertaining. The acting and the character dynamics were compelling. 
even if it was all hack shit writing. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. There's another season down the drain. I apologize for those of you who I pissed off with my opinions over the years. I am sorry that I got mad, but I'm just saying I can't take it when a show is dragging itself through the mud and no one seems to notice. But it did pick up here and there. There was never a 7 out of 7 episode this season, I did notice. But in terms of a narrative structure, it was much better. But anything's better than the fucking season 12. That stuff was garbage. So this was a better season. But again, I'll be talking about that later on when I do a season finale or a season review. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reviews for the most part. If you did like them, leave a like for this video. And if you're interested in more, hit subscribe. And that's all for me, guys. Until the next season, if I come back, I'll see you next time.